Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I can't believe I could finally say that. In this video, we're going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to talk about my journey with makeup. So if you're interested in that, then please keep watching. Okay, so I already did skin prep. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I made sure my under eyes are hydrated. I used this tint dew bomb. I love this, by the way. And I already used a moisturizer, of course. I'm going to be doing a very simple eye look like I normally do. So I'm going to prime with the Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are primed. I'm going to start with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Divine Neutrals Palette. This is the color story if you haven't seen it. I'm going to go in with this shade called She Happens, And then I'm going to use this shade called Just Barely. Okay, so talking about my journey with makeup, well, it has definitely happened over the past decade or so. I was always kind of interested in makeup, but I started to wear it more after I would shave and take a shower and get ready to go out someplace because I wanted to cover up any redness and any cuts. So I just decided to wear makeup. I didn't know much about it. I didn't know anything about shade matching or anything like that, but I just decided to wear foundation and set it with a powder. I put Chic Happens in the crease and then I put Just Barely on the lid. Now I'm going in with a shimmer. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. This was the holiday palette, I believe, two years ago. This is the color story, if you haven't seen it. And I'm going in with this shade called Heavenly Body. So in the beginning, I like brands like e.l.f. and Neutrogena and Bare Minerals. I liked the Neutrogena foundations. I tend to use those a lot. e.l.f had a lot of different products that I liked. And I remember using this powder from Bare Minerals. Oh my God, it was so good and I was in love with it. So the eye look is done. Again, a very simple neutral look. Now I'm gonna work on the rest of my face and I'm gonna start with the Kosas Dream Beam Sunscreen. I love this. It's a really great mineral sunscreen that provides this beautiful glow. And it's packed with skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid, peptides, and ceramides. It does have a slight tint to it, a slight, you know, tan beige tint, but nothing too crazy. And after you apply it all over, this is the result. I just love having this glowy base. Now that I have this glowy base set, I'm going to go in with a primer. Even though the Kosas Dream Beam sunscreen doubles as a sunscreen and a primer, I'm going to use this Banana Bright Face Primer from Ulla Henriksen. I really like this. I just started using it. And it has a nice scent to it. Nothing overbearing or overpowering. So I would say between 2010 and 2015 or 16, I was experimenting with foundation, concealer, and powder. I didn't know much, but I started to learn a little more. And then my interest in makeup really started to increase in the following years. I'm primed and ready. Now I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator in the shade Fair. I love this stuff. If you want something light for the summer, this is perfect and it's inexpensive. So when I was experimenting with makeup still, I really didn't know what I was doing. And I just started to try to shade match and again, I used e.l.f., Neutrogena, and Bare Minerals. Those are just brands that I gravitated toward. I just set the tinted hydrator, so next we're going in with concealer. The Stay Naked Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay in the shade 20NN. I love this stuff. I believe it launched in January, and it's full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. It blends out easily, and it has a nice finish to it. I'm just going to spot conceal as well so between 2017 and 18 that's when my makeup skills and interest really started to develop and i started venturing into lip products and i believe i started experimenting with blush and bronzer 
And I remember when I was working at the time, I started doing my makeup more for work. And I basically just started playing with it. And I started having a lot of fun. This is what the skin is looking like now. Can you tell that concealer blended out really easily? I love it. It's definitely something I'm going to be repurchasing. Now I'm going to set my face. I cannot get over this powder. The Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake. It literally provides you with the most airbrushed look and it looks great in photos and I can't stop raving about this powder. Okay, I just set my face with the Huda Beauty powder. Honestly, with this powder, the face card never declines. After my face is set, I lightly dust some of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder in the shade Fair on my skin. This is also a great powder. It makes your skin look flawless. So I just dab a little bit all over and then I take a setting spray to melt down all the powders. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Count On Me 5-in-1 Prep and Set Mist. This is from the Sesame Street Collection. I love this spray and let me melt down the powders. Feels great. Next I'm going to be doing my brows and my lashes. So where I left off in my makeup journey was I was experimenting with a lot of different products between 2017 and 2018. And then I started ordering a lot of makeup. And in 2019, I started doing a full face. And by the way, between 2015 and now, I consumed so much makeup content on YouTube and eventually TikTok. And that's basically how I learned to do my face and learned how to do makeup. Okay, did my brows and my lashes. I love the mascara I use. It's the F-Proof formula from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I know how people feel about him, but he makes bomb formulas. My lashes look like this all day when I use this mascara. Next, I'm going to do bronzer, and I'm going in with the LYS Cream Bronzer Stick, and I'm going to be setting it with a powder bronzer, this one from Milani, the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunkissed. So, I was consuming a lot of makeup content online, and this included everything. Get ready with me's, hauls, tutorials, and I basically started doing a full beat, and I was having so much fun, I just loved it. My face now has some warmth. I love this product, by the way, and I'm gonna be setting it with a powder bronzer. So I had a lot of fun experimenting with makeup, and between 2019 and 2020, I started basically ordering a full face from all these different brands. And then I realized <laughs> I have all this makeup. What am I going to do with it? And I have three older brothers. One of them suggested, why don't you start doing product reviews? And my brother and my sister actually got me a ring light. And that's when I decided to start creating content on Instagram and eventually TikTok. Next, I'm going in with blush, one of my favorite parts, and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. This is what it looks like. I love, I love everything about this, except for the price. They could have made the pan even bigger because I believe it's $30, and that is a little steep for a blush, even for a high-end brand, but the formula is amazing. I applied some blush, I diffused it using a beauty sponge, and now it's time for another favorite part, highlighter. For this next part, I'm using the Sub-Zero Highlight Collection, which is a collaboration between Be Perfect Cosmetics and Mama Mitchell. I go in with my favorite shades, these two right here, MMMM and In Blankets. And let me show you what they look like. I love this palette, by the way. I think there are shades for every skin tone, or at least almost every skin tone. And just apply it to the high points of the cheeks. And then I'm going to layer my highlight. So just wait till I pull out what's next. You can see that glow, right? Well, I layer my highlight. So I'm using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. Wait until you see what this looks like on the skin. Here we go. Do you see that glow? Oh my God, I love it. Don't worry, I'm going to use a beauty sponge to diffuse it. I love it though. So... I started creating makeup content 
on Instagram first, I started doing a full face and listing all the products. And I did that for several months to a year. And then when TikTok came around, I was heavily considering doing YouTube for a while. And I'm so glad I finally decided to do it now or more recently. But TikTok just seemed kind of easier. And I really liked the format. So I started creating content on TikTok. Okay, next is my lip. So I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy K. This is one of my favorite nudes. It's so pretty. Isn't that such a perfect nude? You know, I love a glossy lip. So I top it off with the Fenty Beauty Heat in the shade Fussy. This shade matches my natural lip color basically and it really goes well with my skin tone. I love that high shine effect. It just looks so good. Now it's time to set this face. So I'm going in with the Kimchi Chic Beauty Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. I love Kimchi Chic Beauty. I also love Trixie Cosmetics. They make a lot of great makeup. This is it, everyone. This is the finished look. What do we think? This was so much fun. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.